Right. I see water already. Hey everybody, David Burns here. And today I wanna to show you how you can take these little numbers and put them on the back of a, of a thorax on a queen bee, and that way you can keep track of her by number. Now a lot of people just take a marking pen and put a little white dot on the queen, but today I'm gonna to show you, it's really not that difficult to do it with one of these little number pads. And today, uh, I think we're gonna choose number 77. I'm gonna take these high-powered 3.5 reading glasses that helps me see my work a little bit better. And so, as you can see here, these are the numbers that I'm gonna be choosing from. And uh, my hands are filthy like this because I was just getting this queen out of the, out of the hive and this is all propolis on my fingers. Um, so what I'm going to do is just check out number 77 here, and that's the one I'm going to be putting on this queen that I'm about to show you. Now, I also want to show you the queen. I have just caught her and placed her in this little marking container, and you can see her walking around. Now, she's on the opposite side. I need her to stand on my sponge, and what I'll be doing is pushing that thorax up through one of these holes and so it's a little bit of an art you kind of have to shake you're not going to hurt her once you get her down like that you can keep pushing up until but you got to get her just right you don't want to hurt her okay so you see her now she's walking around and i'm her thorax will stick through before you start to put too much pressure on her abdomen and i've adjusted it perfectly there all right so we're just going to set her over there now, number 77, I'm going to take a look here. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go three rows here. One, two, three, four, five. This is number 77 right there. And if it's not, it's no big deal. All right, so number 77, is that it over here? That's a trick about, nope, that's 13. So 77 is gone. It went way over that way somewhere. So now we're going to go for... Uh, 76. So we're going to take the number 76, push it down and hold it, and then pull up on your paper. I don't know what I did wrong the first time. Now if you flip it over, what I do is I take a little bit of propolis, like this, and I hold the propolis onto it. And as you can see, it won't fall off. I've got another little thing, these little tools that I have. These are actually grafting tools. And I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, glue, non-toxic, specialized honey thorax glue. I'm going to get some down on my stick like this and put it right in the center there. It's, it's stickier than it looks. All right, so now we're going to take the queen, who's in the ready position. There's her thorax. Going to tip it over and let it rest there. Take the other end or another tool, and don't push too hard. Uh, you're not gonna hurt her. Pretty good sponge there to keep her healthy. I'm just making sure it's on there good. All right, so that's the queen, number 76, as you can see. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna release the tension on my pad until the queen is at a chance to let that little pad dry off. Um, so this is a useful trick. Uh, to use if sometimes you have a bunch of queens and you've got them all white and you don't know if that queen went into that hive or you know which queen you're monitoring you can number them and it works really well and you can uh, have fun with these on other bees if you want to put a number on your drone first they don't have stingers you can play around and test those hey thanks for joining me today see you next time